Whether you realize it or not, you're in the front lines of helping bring our veterans home. Because the first person they oftentimes talk to when they PCS, when they move to go to a different duty assignment or when they get out, is oftentimes a real estate agent so they could help try to establish some form of post-war life. I have a very, very close relationship with the military. To be able to serve those who serve is something very important, near and dear to my heart. Three years ago, we were able to give a home away to the Griego family. That was something very exciting for us to do and to be able to bring them back today and have them talk about how their lives changed. It's a wonderful feeling. And we applied for a mortgage-free home, not expecting to ever receive it. And we were finally approved and we were given a, be a beautiful home in Tucson. Without it, I don't know, we wouldn't be able to afford our children. I, I say that, but we, we had to go through the IVF process to have them. It was, it was kind of expensive. And without the house, you know, having to make a mortgage payment or rental payment, I highly doubt that we would be able to have these beautiful kids with us. So in that, I want to thank Fairway and all of you. And uh, thank you for listening to my story and I appreciate it. Thank you. No one gets left behind. Everyone, anyone ever heard that before? Any Vietnam veterans? Now, thank you. We, these men deserve a standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome home. I came home. You know, people saw me, I got news interviews. I, I mean, everybody just, uh, very welcome. I'm, I love that, that they're doing stuff for Vietnam era veterans, which is huge because a lot of the organizations today, they don't have a lot of stuff for Vietnam veterans. The American Warrior Initiative has made it a, a point to support veterans from every generation. And we always make it a point to thank our Vietnam vets. I know there are a few here in the crowd, but there's, Mike, where are you, are you here? I was drafted in 1969 and uh, I had been wounded. It was a mortar attack and I got sh shrapnel in my feet and in my legs. Yes, thank you, Mike. Thank you, sir. I was home in 72 hours. I was still in my jungle fatigues. And I get to Seattle, Tacoma, and uh, this one little boy asked his father, is he one of them? And he says, yeah, that's a baby killer. And so I went into uh, one of the clothing stores in the airport and I bought a pair of shoes and I took my combat boots and threw them in the garbage can. I didn't want to be related to that. I knew the uh, PTSD had set in too much and I couldn't be around a lot of people all the time. So I worked for myself and I created a business, Rocking Our Enterprises. I built a chuck wagon. I go out and feed cowboys on cattle drives. And I would do uh, caterings. Uh, a lot of people my age, their wives are turning 50, or so it was back in the 90s. <laughs> I did a bar mitzvah once. Although you had some challenges coming back, you overcame. You created your own business. We thought you might need a little help with your business, and we would like to give you, the, um, the people of Fairway Independent Mortgage, a small business grant of $10,000. The wagon's over 100 years old, and it needs some repairs. And you can't just take it to a repair shop. You gotta do it by hand, and do it right. Welcome home. I was shocked. I had no idea. I understand them uh, wanting to honor veterans, but I never thought I'd be picked to be the recipient of something like that. This is who we are, and it's and it's not just a saying. It's not just a slogan. It's not just you know you'll you'll hear fairway people say serve those who serve. We don't just say that. We do that.